Hello, my name is Dr. Arthur McClunu. I've dedicated my life to providing surgical care to patients with heart disease. My life began in the slums of Soweto in South Africa, where I learned to overcome adversity and illnesses, including the death of my best friend. That's why I want to be a resource for you and your family for consultation related to heart and cardiovascular needs. You can learn more about me by visiting my website, which is at ZuluChessCutter.com. Simple. Carrots and apples, 15 days, 
by the end of the 15 days, I was tired of carrots and apples. But, but did you notice the difference? I was noticeably slimmer. Slimmer. Um, I wasn't trying to lose weight. I just wanted to see if I could, do, you know, complete the task mm -hmm. at hand. Um, but I was noticeably slimmer, and I had renewed energy. Sure. Skin looked better. So that's when I decided I'm going to integrate this into my daily lifestyle. You know, you know, one of the things that, at least for me, it, it has not actually uh, come into the, the the physical form mentally and physically with the juicing just for me. Mm -hmm. At 6'3", mm -hmm. 215 pounds, mm -hmm. right now. and my wife takes the spinach and the, uh, the carrots and all that stuff, and then it comes out in a very liquid form, and then I drink it. Mm -hmm. Now, maybe psychologically my mind is telling me that I need to eat a piece of meat while I need to eat <laughs> something else. I'm, I've tried two or three of them. Is there something else I can do to put in that shape or the juice? Basically, so Skip wants to know, can he grind up some ham and hamburgers? Absolutely, and eat absolutely. With, with juice. See, that's I mean, why she's But that's what you want to know. She knows what to say, <laughs> but I don't know what to say. He so wants to know, can he put a whopper out. in the joint and just go ahead and juice the, it up? It's going to be the same. Listen to no. her. I don't know anything. <laughs> well, I don't recommend putting a whopper in your, <laughs> in your juice, but... um. There are ways that you can make your juice a little more nutrient dense, like adding, you can juice, I, I recommend juicing and then blending with maybe an avocado or banana and mix it at a heartier meal. Okay. okay. Um, so, and then some people, inter, you know, mix in protein powders and, and such, like for men that, that you know, need to um, build more energy and, and, and so forth. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank God I don't have that issue with the energy, <laughs> but we're going to come back and talk more about juicing. Please don't Stay go anywhere. Tuned. This is a very informative production, and this segment is huge. You'll learn more about juicing. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. <laughs> Or is it in lieu of? 
I think that's what a lot of people have questions about. Well, I typically start my day off with juice. So okay. juice is typically my breakfast. So I'll have breakfast. Um, I prepare juices to take with me to work. Uh -huh. And it depends on the day. Like if I want to have lunch, I'll have lunch. If I don't, you know, I don't. I have dinner if I want to have dinner. If I'm doing a juice fast, then it's strictly juice okay. all day long for a set period of time. And now how long, I know you've been doing juicing for a couple of years now, how yes. long do you do a juice fast for? Is it like three days if you're getting ready for an event or mm -hmm. you're getting ready for something? How do you incorporate it into your regular lifestyle? And what yes. would you recommend to people listening today about juicing? Okay. So the longest fast that I've done is a 15-day fast. Wow. Uh, and I've done um, subsequent shorter fasts huh? since then. Uh, if you're just starting out, then I would recommend a three to five day fast. Three to five days, good. But, um, and then just ease your way in a longer fast. Uh, I think people find that after a couple days in, they're, enjoy they're actually surprisingly enjoying it. And um, they want to see, to push the envelope a little more to see, see how much longer they can go. That's great. So just a couple of questions before I ask you what, yours, what you see about juicing in your company and what you want to run through it going on here. I can't help the skin, but notice her skin is so good. Absolutely. I wanted to lean over and lick it or touch <laughs> it. I didn't know what was appropriate. <laughs> there is a glove over here, and I said, is, if, if that's what I need to do, I'm about to call Giant and buy all the carrots and apples mm -hmm. out of the store on the way home. Is, yeah. What are the what are the benefits you see of juicing beyond your skin, which mm -hmm. I'm staring at? Mm -hmm. But please don't be a shy. Well, there. I mean, there's just so many benefits uh, with juicing. You know, weight loss. Um, yeah. Just improved overall health. I mean, and energy know, is just exactly about renewed energy. Um, you know, people can uh, cured major diseases yeah. juicing. Yes. So there's just so many benefits. Well, so, go ahead. Well, well, let me just ask one question as it relates to taking herbs. Mm -hmm. Now, I just finished a 10 day colon cleanser, herbal little um, what I do mm -hmm. twice a year. Mm -hmm. Now, would you suggest that it's healthy as one is going through something like that to incorporate juicing with that? Um, because as you're cleansing and you, you, you're cleaning your body and the toxins are coming out your body based on what you're doing. In this particular case, I was doing herbs. You want to restore some of the stuff that is leaving. Mm -hmm. The bad stuff, you want, you want to get out and the good stuff, you want to retain. Mm -hmm. So would you recommend that for somebody like me who does that twice a year? I mean, it definitely can't hurt. You okay. know, it, it definitely can't hurt. Um, you can do your your herbal cleanse and do a fast at the same time, and you're getting double the detox. Okay. Okay, Rain? That's great. So now, looking forward, what are you are, – do you plan to start your own juicing company? Do you plan to, mm -hmm. you know, come up with a new uh, regimen or recipe about the, the, you know, Nicole's grape juice? Or, mm -hmm. or what do we need to know? Well, right now I have a, a pretty good Facebook following where right. I have a juicing page and I have a large following where I give free tips, free recipes, Great. and um, you know give a lot of good information away. Um, in the near future, like this this month sometime, I'll be launching my blog, which will uh, focus on juicing. It's called The Sweeter the Juice. The Sweeter the Juice. Yeah. Lord, well, is that not a love song from the 80s? Well, the I'll sweeter what, the it, juice, the better the something. I'll tell you what, that, Lord, it's getting that has hot a ring to it. That has a ring to it. to the sweeter the, <laughs> Nicole, the sweeter the juice, the yeah. what? The, the sweeter the juice. The sweeter the juice. <laughs> well, well that now. That is lovely. We're going to go to break soon. We have about two minutes. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go to break. Okay. And then the lovely Miss Rain is going to take us out of the break. And then we're going to okay. come back and chat a little more. But before we go to break, mm -hmm. for the young folks that are watching this show, and I want you to just look into that camera mm -hmm. just in a, in a period of maybe uh, 30 seconds or more. Talk to the young folks and tell them what they can do in regards to juice and how they can benefit right now at age 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, right. 15, 16. I know some of them have to get the consent from their parents, mm -hmm. and so we want you to do that, but can you talk to them a little bit about that? Well, it's, it's just so key to, to eat healthily. Um, with my kids, they've actually grown to like juicing. Um, I can get them to drink green juices, that, you know, juices that have spinach in it that they would normally have turned their nose up at, so it's just really important to to, you know, to stay on top of your health and, and fitness, even at a young age. Okay, right. Well, right back, you guys. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. We're here with Nicole Grimes and the sweet of the juice. You don't want to miss that. We'll be right back. On the Rolling Grimes, not just sports and entertainment show. Stay tuned.
I'm so excited that you guys have stayed tuned with us. We're here with Nicole Graves, and we're excited to learn about juicing. We've talked about juicing a lot. Um, if you can recap for us just what the importance of juicing is and what it does for your body beyond eating an apple a day to keep the doctor away, which is what a lot of these men out here watching are doing right now. Well, juicing is just so important. Um, it's just the key way to get vital nutrients mm -hmm. from fruits and vegetables. We extract it out and drink it. It goes directly into our bloodstream and you feel renewed, energized, can look younger, everything. And Nicole, I think something earlier that we didn't talk about and I'm so excited for you to touch on is that people think juicing is, can I put stuff in my blender? And what's the difference between blending your fruits and vegetables versus juicing? Because I've had a blender for the longest time and evidently juicing is something different. It is, it's very different. It's really a good point that you're making because a lot of people think they're juicing and throwing things into their blender and they're not. Not to say that there's anything wrong with blending because sure. you're making, the end result of a blending is a smoothie and the end result of uh, extracting juice is juicing. So with um, throwing things into your blender, you still have that fiber and pulp there, and uh, with juicing, we're extracting it. The whole point of like a juice fast is to give your digestive system a rest, and then your body can focus on detoxing. So and, th and that's great. There's something you said there earlier was pulp, and you know how I, I'm at the grocery store, and I'm with my car, and I'm like, I want the orange juice with no pulp. Mm -hmm. And all I know is pulp is thicker, and it's like yeah. grimier. Yeah. Can you explain the difference in having no pulp with juicing than versus blending with pulp? Well, pulp is essentially the fiber from the fruits and vegetables, so it makes for a thicker uh, thicker drink. Sure. And um, it also reduces the amount of that your body can absorb, the mm -hmm. amount of nutrients that your body can absorb. Right. So when you have a smoothie, which is still a good thing to right. have a smoothie, um, your body is not absorbing as much nutrients as if you were to just drink, drink the straight juice. Oh, that's interesting. So. Well, let's say for people who have never seen a juicer, I know we, I, if we had one live and next time when we have Nicole Graves here, we will have a juicer. Because I think seeing the actual process of juicing mm -hmm. is clear to a lot of people. So can you explain, if you can, what a juicer looks like, what the process is? And I think a lot of people hear juicing and they're like, oh my gosh, I gotta take out 10 hours of my evening. Mm -hmm. is, can you explain the process, if you can, okay, for so us and our listeners The here? process is pretty easy that you, you know, you chop up your fruits and vegetables. Um, I have a, a pretty, high-tech juicer and um, you, you know put your fruits and vegetables into the chute out of one side comes the fiber that you're going to either and by fiber do you mean skin or what skin okay. and and fiber that's in the fruits and vegetables and then out of the other side is the actual juice okay so um, you can discard the fiber you can compost it you can use it for baking um, you can feed it to your pets you know there's a whole you can other feed it to your pets yeah the compost to your pets you can feed the fiber oh the fiber <laughs> I said Lord I don't know what compost means but I'm about to go to PetSmart tomorrow and and find a little rabbit and feed it my fiber juice. <laughs> you can use it in baking, you so know. So let me not set our listeners off. Can you please clarify the stuff that goes out the back end? The fiber, and people actually say their, their dogs um, love it. The fiber from like carrots and, uh, you know, other fruits and vegetables, they mix it in with their dog food and people say they love it. That's interesting. That's great. So let's talk a little bit more about what you are doing going forward because mm -hmm. I think a lot of people are you you're local we want to hear your story sort of where you're from and how they can follow you get recipes as I'm interested in and so okay. if you can talk a little about about that okay so um, like I said I have a, a pretty good size following on Facebook on you Facebook. can find me on Facebook okay um, what's your Facebook name if you can <laughs> let us know it's just Nicole Graves it's pretty simple Nicole Graves um, you know you can follow me on Twitter that's Nicole C Graves, C. Graves. and okay. um, you know, soon I'll be launching my blog, this www.thesweeterthejuice.com. The Sweeter the Juice. Fellas and ladies, if you missed that earlier, <laughs> The Sweeter the Juice. Don't get it twisted. We're going to talk about some health here. But yeah. please do continue at The Sweeter the Juice. And, um, you know, on the blog, I'll, I'll tackle juicing. I'll also tackle family because I'm a mom of four. Um, uh, just daily motivation and, you know, just a whole, you know, gamut of things. And I'm so excited about the sweeter the juice because I think that a lot of people, and I don't have children, and I, but I hear about, you know, I'm like, my time is time is money. I don't have time to juice because juicing, everybody thinks it takes a long time. Mm -hmm. But you're a mother of how many? Four. Four? Yes. You see her skin, people? <laughs> I am making carrots and apples today because <laughs> Nicole looks great. But can you help us understand how it's time? It's not a long, and no. like Thanksgiving dinner, I got to no. juice. 
Can you talk a little bit about how long it takes to make the juicing? And for your kids, if you do juice for them. Yeah. Well, I mean, I tell people if you if you plan out a couple, like 20 minutes every morning, and that's what I do. I juice, make all my juices for the um, day and bring the ones that I'm going to take with me to work. Um, you know, you just build an extra 20 minutes into okay. your day, and, and, it's well worth and it. you're good. And do your kids actually like them? Do they feel like they're drinking vegetables? No, they actually like juice, and they actually have requests, and, you know, like orange spinach is one that they actually like. Is it because they can't taste the spinach, they or it's masked it. in a It just tastes like orange thing? juice. It tastes like orange juice, but it's got, you know, two handfuls of spinach in it, and... It's, it's, a, it's a nice little sneaky way to get them to drink spinach. This is great. This has been so informative. So as we're wrapping up, can you tell us a little bit more about when to expect the website to launch, the Sweet of the Juice? Uh, follow Nicole Graves on Facebook, but can you just talk real quickly about um, the web, the website and what we expect? The website will launch at the end of this month on the website. Um, eventually, I'll be doing more health coaching, and um, you know, it'll just have a wealth of information on the website. This is so exciting. I'm so excited for all of you who came to the Roland Grimes show with Nicole Graves. This is so exciting. We look forward to seeing you. We're going to have a show coming up soon, so make sure you log on. Look for...